Hello everyone, welcome again and today we will see another demo in JSPN Sunlight that is Help Desk Ticket System. So let's move to the IDE and talk about some technical details about the project. So for the front end, it's using JSP Servlet. So here you can see the view part. Under the web folder, we have a JSP. So it's using JSP for the front end, and obviously HTML and CSS is the common thing inside the JSP. And apart from that, as it's using complete MVC architecture, so view is there under the web, and here we have a uh, bean package and then controller is there controllers means servlet or server side things are there exception handling so we have a separate package for the exception handling and uh, we have a model here so model is another database um, like one component of MVC architecture so this will be responsible to handle the database transaction and some e utility classes over there and to manage the backend or uh, the backend things it's using mysql and we are using mysql workbench over there so here we have a database and in the, in the database we have a four tables category comments ticket and user there are two roles in this application two types of user that directly going to interact with the application the first one will be the admin and second will be the user or you can say the customer who is going to uh, trace a ticket for the help desk and the admin will be the head help desk member that going to respond about those ticket okay now let's run the project and to run this application so just keep uh, watching this de uh, this this demo and mark down all the steps to run the project because uh, in case if you bought this project from the code one and we will do the complete setup in this condition in this stage after this you have to uh, run it by yourself so just right click on the root folder of the project go to run as click on run on server then select the configured server tomcat okay it's uh, using tomcat 8.5 to deploy the application and application is uh, running on the local host in my machine and then click on the finish next up the finish application will automatically launch over here the over your Chrome browser or whatever the browser you have set in the ID and then uh, here we have a, a home page under the home page we have a sign up option we have a sign in option let's say I want to sign up as a new user I can select this option I can fill up this form and click on the sign up button and then I will be able to sign up so when I fill some dummy data and it says invalid contact number so I need to enter some valid 10 digit number and the valid date format for a DOB and click on the sign in sign up <coughs> it's user registered successfully now we we'll see the data here under the user table till now we have three record when I refresh the table now it's become a four record okay now let's log in by uh, the admin user then we'll move to the what like then we'll move to the customer and see all the functionality how they are working over there so for the admin we have a role id 1 so any user with role id 1 always will be a admin any user with role id 2 always will be a user so i'm going to log in with this so here is my username admin 123 and the password we have to check into the password column so here is the password which is some special character password okay i enter this password hit the sign in button i am able to sign in here now what as an admin or as a receptionist i can uh, if i say receptionist or the help this person can do you can check the user list whatever the new users register into the application the display this will be displayed here we have a search option so i can search by name so the data will be filtered accordingly I can search by any email so data will again filter accordingly next thing like uh, as a reception I can't edit the data or I can delete the data yes I can add a more category and I can uh, add the list so let's say I add a category for the hardware section for any uh, types of category and I save it and this category will display into the category list and when a user going to submit a ticket then also this category will be displayed so we can select it in this category list section we have a four option four or five option to perform the crude operation like i can search any 
category by its name here and I can edit this record if I want so I just recently added this category and I want to edit this record and I add ggg in the end and when I view this again I can check the category is edited okay now if I want to delete it I can delete it just select the option check this icon and click on delete and data is deleted successfully now if I will again refresh this the data will not display I can check the rest etiquette. This is the main backbone of this application, and this is the main module. Under this module, as an admin or as a help desk person, I can check whatever the tickets are raised by any user. Another, we have an option here to search by ticket number, search by title, search by category. So I can filter the data accordingly. Also, I can update any status. Let's suppose uh, someone, someone. There is a ticket and I can uh, update the status as an admin it is complete or it's in process or pending something so this status will display to that user I can add a new comment if I want I can add any comment so that comment will be also displayed to the user I can view the previous comment also here another common option here my profile log out and all the things so I just log out from here and now I'm going to register as a, I'm going to log in as an admin now uh, sorry normal user so recently we have I think we have added a new user this one I'm going to log in with this user so I just enter this username and the password here and I'm going to enter the sign in button I'm able to log in here so I can check uh, only one important things over there that is the race ticket and ticket list so i can check the ticket list that is not found here when i hit the race ticket so for this user i didn't uh, like i didn't add any ticket so it's uh, showing null record no data record found but uh, if let's suppose i want to raise a ticket so i want to raise a ticket into the uh, carter copper or some category title description say so this ticket will display here now and this will be added uh, like operated by the admin also so when i add comment i can add a comment and i can also check the comment by any other user uh, any other user or any other um, admin person so that's it about the help desk ticket system if you want the source code please connect with a code of a team you can mail us or you can directly ping us over the whatsapp we'll provide the complete source code with project report also, uh, during the remote support, our team will help you to run the project at your machine and it will work same as those in this video. Thank you.